Hey, how's everybody doing today? I am back. I'm going to start this video by giving a thanks to my sponsors. My number one sponsor, Fox 3 Managed Solutions, for uh, providing me with a low ping, high speed server to host my DCS games on. So today we're going to do a, I'm going to do a video on microphones for the VR headset. When I bought the, the Vajo, I'm trying to pronounce it right, pretty sure it's Vajo, Aero headset. It doesn't have any sound solution that comes with it, so I ended up picking up these, this off-ear, they're called off-ear headphones. They're made by VR ears, and I really like the sound. I, I'm, I'm not going to say the sound is as good as a really, you know, a high-end game in like a Steel Series or the Logitech Pro X or Logitech X Pro, whatever they call it, headset, which is, I really like the Logitech stuff. But, not to get off track, basically, there's nothing for sound that comes with this. So, it does have a 3.5 millimeter jack on the side of it where you can plug in headphones. Now, with these headphones that I bought, and I, I've done this in a past video, but now I'm kind of on the microphone thing. It does come with a little, little hole there that you can plug in, and I'll show it to you. I ended up picking the sound up. It came from Knox Labs, and you can get this little, it's like, it's actually not 3.5, it's 2.5. No, I'm sorry. The hole on the headset, the jack on the headset, on the headphones actually, is 2.5 millimeters, so you can see the difference in size between that and a 3.5, which I must have something hanging around here. Okay, so we're going to do a little size compare. You can see a 3.5 versus a 2.5. It's quite a difference in, you know, the thickness. The length is always the same. So anyways, you're supposed to be able to plug this in here and it works. Well, it never worked. Couldn't get it to work. I contacted them, like I said in the past video, and they told me to take a video of the problem and send it to them. The problem with taking a video of the problem was when I plugged it in, there was nothing. The, nothing showed, nothing was in the control panel, nothing was in, in any of the system set, nothing showed up. So I tried to explain that to them and they kept insisting that, oh, you gotta send us a video that shows a problem. I said, I can't send you a problem of a video, a video of a problem that's not there. So anyways, long story short, I ended up saying the hell with that and I just, you know, put the thing aside. And I ended up opening it up and looking inside to see if it even had the little circuit board and everything in there that it needed to have to be able to work. And everything's in there, but I could just never get it to work. I ended up picking up a, a different one with a 2.5 millimeter, and that didn't work as well. So it's either the headset won't take audio as far as microphones go that way, which I highly doubt, or uh, there's an issue in here. So let's get on to the main thing. So I needed to get a mic solution. I, I had to have something because I do online gaming. And when you're online gaming, if you're involved in any team activity, you've got to be able to communicate. So I have a couple of Sennheiser lavalier microphones. I've tested them both. They both sound identically the same, but they're wired, which isn't really a huge problem. It's just an additional wire you got hanging around, and that kind of can be a hassle. So I am on the Sennheiser right now, and... I know sometimes my auto, my audio might be a little high, might be a little low because I don't run filters. I just, I do all my own editing and just clipping and, and everything that comes in with clipping, cutting and adding in stuff on a video. It takes hours and hours and I just do this for fun more than anything else. It's, it's not like um, I've got a million subs and they're sending me a check every month. I get up every day, put on my pants and go to work like, 99% of the rest of the world. So what I ended up doing is I took an old headset that I had, like operators use with the one earpiece and the mic. Long story short, the mic on that really sounded terrible. It was a cheap one. I had it from, geez, probably five years ago. So I ended up using the, the, the metal arm. I put a piece of plastic over it and I just, pulled the mic off of that one and I ran one of my sign houses inside of that one. As you can see, it's wired. And I just ran it up the cable that goes to my VR headset. And it sounds really nice. 
I use a little bit of hot glue on the side of the headpiece, which is easily removed. All you got to do is just twist it and it pops off. Not that easy, but let's get on to the main piece of this video. So probably three, maybe four weeks ago, I was sent this from a company by the name of Ant Leon. Ant Le Ant Leon, A-N-T-L-I-O-N. It's a wireless microphone. It comes with a dongle and a cable and a charging cable as well. Take a look at this. So you can see, this is the extension cable for the dongle. Yeah, I've already opened it and looked at it and tested it because I'm not gonna do a video and it turns out it doesn't work. And it would have been nice if they would have used the USB-C versus the little mini charger, the little mini USB, but it's just for charging. Still, the USB-C is a little bit easier. Also, it comes with this dongle and you can press the button and it works a couple different modes. It's 2.4 Wi-Fi and I actually prefer that over Bluetooth. I, for some reason in the past, I had problems with Bluetooth and every time I would log on to the game it, it would just keep cutting out and then I don't know if it was something I did but the device I was using it had both. You could use Bluetooth or 2.4. I went right back 2.4. Sounds good, it's clear, it works and the story there. And it comes with this microphone and it has two modes. It has mono and stereo. So I don't even know if it's really mono and stereo. Basically, it comes with one mode where you talk into one part and it picks up the sound just from your voice. That sounds the best. The other mode you go into, it's for omnidirectional, I guess they would call it, where everybody in the room can talk into it, which if you're gaming, I don't think, I can't think of any reason you would want to do that. So in the regular mode, works fine. Also, they send you some rubber bumpers that you can use for fillers. They send you some double-sided tape and these little double-sided tape on these little, they're, they're little magnets, but they're shaped. Let's take one out and I'll show you. They've got like a little shape to them. They're pretty strong magnets. So in the center there's a magnet and you can see how it has these ridges. So it kind of fits together like a little puzzle. And if you want to adjust how the mic sits on the headset, all you gotta do is just pick it and turn it and it kind of just stays right on there. As well as you can take it off, put it aside and charge it. So it seemed to be a pretty cool little device. So what I, what I ended up doing with the Seinhauser after I jerry-rigged the setup that I made for my headset is it has a cable and it just followed up the, um, followed the VR cable. And by the way, speaking of VR, I've been looking at some of the new stuff that Crystal is coming out with, the Pri Pri Primax Crystal. It looks really good. I might think about getting one in the future. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm actually gonna send them an email and see if they'll send me one for testing. That would be nice, but I'm not gonna bank on it. I, like I said, I don't have a million viewers. But the Vajo, outstanding. I love this headset. It just turned the game into something that I look so forward to playing. When I get in, it just, it's so immersive and it's just, it's mind blowing. Anyways. Another thing that's working out really good is the lens covers that was, I was sent. Those, those are nice. Lifesavers there. So I took the wire, ran it all the way down. I got a USB extension cable, and I just ran it into the computer and made myself a mic. I know it's a little sloppy looking, but hey, it, I didn't do it for show. I just did it because it was there. So what I'm going to do now is now that you can hear my voice speaking over this microphone, which is this microphone they're identical so what i'm going to do is take care of cleaning it all up i got a bunch of bunch of little wire ties i got to clean off of this thing take off of it and come back and then we'll see how that works out okay so here we are back honestly at this point i haven't even listened to it so i'm hoping it sounds pretty good i don't know if it was too low too high muffly sound 
I didn't adjust it, I just picked it up and, and pretty much did what I did. So, pretty simple. It's got a charger on it, and obviously I just found out it does have Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi because my TV, when I powered it on, tried to pair. So we'll be skipping that part because like I said, I don't use Bluetooth. You just basically, you can hold the button in and you'll get your signal. Once it's connected to the 2.4 Wi-Fi, then it picked it right up on my voice activation. And if you hold it, long hold, it's where it starts to try to pair with the TV. Now it's a pretty simple setup. You want to move it it comes off. Everything bends so you can put it in the perfect spot that you want it in. And to get it out of the way, like I said, these ridges are what provides, yeah, I didn't do a great job cleaning it up, I'll do more after. You just twist it and it clips in right out of the way. Twist again, out of the way. You can spin it all the way around and put it pretty much anywhere you want. So I like it. I like it. I think it looks good. I hope it sounds good. It goes for, let me see, I've seen them on eBay because I have, I did take a look and I seen them between 189, uh, well, 120, which is pretty much normal price used. I wouldn't get one used for 120. Or uh, you can buy them for like 130, 139. You can get them on sale. Not too many companies carry them. I've seen them on eBay. Like I said, 85 to 120, and Knox Labs as well as Amazon carries them, but I think they're closer to 140. But for a wireless, for a wireless Wi-Fi, a good sounding wireless Wi-Fi connection, especially when it comes to microphones, it, you're hard pressed, really hard pressed to find a good wireless mic that sounds nice and clear. I'm going to take a quick break and I'm going to take us a quick listen to what I had in this and come back and tell you what I thought. Okay, so here we are. I can't... Okay, it's about as close as I can get it. I'm not sure how it sounds, but this is the Antleon wireless microphone. Hope it sounds good. I'm going to shut it off and go back to the other one. I just want to do a quick sound test on this one, see how it did sound, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I did a quick sound test. It sounds clear, sounded a little lower, but then again, I haven't adjusted any volume settings. It did sound nice and clear, so that's a plus. We're on the right track. I think it's going to work out fine. I eliminated a cable which I didn't realize, but it really gave it a lot, made it a lot more, you know, gave it a lot more looseness than what it had before. I didn't realize, well, it, I had a lot of little wire ties on it and a couple pieces of tape every couple inches. Every few inches I had to wrap it with a piece of tape to keep it all in place, so it must have stiffened it up, but this is, this is nice now. I, didn't really, I can't remember when it was like that. It's been so long I've been using this thing like the other way I had it. So all in all, I like it. Sounds good. I think with a little bit of volume adjustment, which I haven't even done yet, I think it's going to sound great. So we've gone from Soundhauser, sound I think that's how they pronounce it, Soundhauser, to the Ant Leon, and I can say I'm pretty happy with it at this point. Is it as nice sounding as the, sound, the Soundhauser? No. It's very hard to beat a sign, a sign oh, why can't I pronounce it? It's very hard to beat a Seinhauser microphone. They're one of the top of the line microphones on the market. If you're buying one of their, their desktop type mounts, they have, it's, they have a microphone that's similar to like the Shure, the big one that everybody uses you see in every video. They don't have a ton. I, I mean, I, the reason I bought two of them Two of, of the, uh, the lav mics that I had that are sign houses. The reason I bought two of them is because it's just hard to find good lavalier mics. So I ended up getting those a while back and they've served me well. But now I'm happy to have this and um, I'll definitely be doing some videos in the future now that, you know, I'm starting to get into VR and I've 
starting to put more time into learning how to do stuff in DCS. So on that note, very nice, very, very nice. I do like it. I do like it. It frees up a whole cable. I got to still put the thing back through there. My, my headset, I really do enjoy it. It's just, I would love to get the XR4 they just came out with. That is looking incredible. But like I said, you know, I was lucky to get this. I don't have a million viewers, so if I did, they'd probably be happy to send me something. But this worked out great. I, like I said, I stepped out for that one minute to check it out. It wasn't very long. I don't even think I, I spent a minute listening to anything. But, um, yeah, it was a little bit on the low side. Like I said, I haven't turned the volume up. I haven't done anything with that. When you're using the video editor, you can lower and raise the gain. I use just basic stuff like that. There's a lot of filters that you can use with bass, treble, all kinds of stuff. I really don't get that that big into it unless it's really a uh, serious reason for me to do that. But I do recommend it. I'm giving this a must-have. If you're into VR headsets and it doesn't have a sound solution and you end up going with a third party. See, the whole thing with wearing them over your head, it's just more weight, more weight. These, they're not the lightest, but they're off your ears. Rajo, the way the headset is designed, there's very, very little weight on it. Like with some of the other ones I watch videos on, there's really not much of a strap up top, maybe a rubber band or something, and it starts to wear on the cheeks, the bridge of the nose. Primax, I think, has an add-on thing with theirs. I mean, when you're talking like probably the most common and high-end headsets out there for VR, you get the Vajo and you have the Primax. So... That's why I use them names a lot. I know there's a lot of other companies that are up there, but the two best, the two most popular. This doesn't have the field of view Primex has, but it has great, great, great aspheric lenses and just everything about it. It just, you may miss a little bit of that field of view if you go from one to another, but once you get used to whatever you're using, and I'm, I'm not telling people to run out and buy it, I would recommend it if you can get one for the right price. I've contacted them and I've asked them about them discontinuing the headset and I was told by them that they're only at the end of 2025 they're going to discontinue making updates for the for the Vajo uh, base app that runs this. They're not going to discontinue it. It's still going to work but they're going to be moving on to the next version so they're not going to be running the updates anymore and as long as this thing is tuned in great and working fine I don't see any issues with this lasting for however long you decide to use it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope somebody got something out of it. I don't normally ask, even through my videos, for too many, you know, things like like, subs, and stuff. I always save it for the end. So, if you enjoyed it, I hope you give it a like. If you're new to the channel, give me a sub. Always welcome aboard. Ask any questions you want. I'm always around and uh, I'll answer them. If I can, I will answer them. So we'll see you in the next video. Everybody have a great, safe week. Peace.